Hello friends, welcome to this session on linear equations in two variables. Today we will solve a few questions related to equations of lines parallel to x-axis and y-axis. Let's begin with our first question. Represent the equation 4x plus 2 is equal to 3x plus 3 graphically both in the form of linear equation in one variable and in two variables. Friends, this is already in the form of linear equation in one variable. Let's solve it. On simplifying it, we get x is equal to 1. As we know that linear equations in one variable have a unique solution and we represent them on a number line. Here, x is equal to 1 will be here on the number line. We can represent this equation in the form of linear equations in two variables as 1x plus 0y minus 1 is equal to 0 and we will get infinite solutions for this. Here, on taking any value of y, it will ultimately become 0. All the solutions of this equation will be in the form of 1y where y is a real number. Here are some points which are the solution of this equation. Now let's plot them on the graph. Now, on joining these points, we will get a line which is parallel to the y-axis. Let's solve one more question. Represent the equation 1 by 2y plus 9 is equal to 3 by 2y plus 12 graphically in the form of linear equations in one variable and two variables. Friends, let's solve the linear equation in one variable. On solving, we got y is equal to minus 3. Where will you represent this? On a number line or on a graph? You're right, this point will lie on the number line here. We have not yet solved this question completely. We now have to represent it in the form of linear equations in two variables and it will be 0x plus 1y plus 3 is equal to 0. Observe this equation. Here if we take any value for x, it will ultimately be 0. All the solutions of this equation will be in the form of x minus 3, where x is a real number. Friends, you may pause the video and try to represent the same graphically. Here are some probable solutions to this equation. On plotting the same points on a graph, it will look this way. We will get a line which is parallel to x-axis. Friends, that's it for today. In this video, we solved a few questions related to equations of lines parallel to the x-axis and y-axis. See you in our next video. Thank you.